Hello, everyone, and welcome to a new series of shows that we are doing that I'm very excited about. This is our Science of Art series. So my name is Mott Tuman. You may have seen me from Jerry's Live, and you may also be wondering what qualifies me to teach you science. <laughs> since you know me mainly as an artist. And I will tell you guys that uh, when my university in a couple of years sends me that survey that asks if I'm using my degree in my current workplace environment, I want to be able to check that box off with 100% certainty. So I am putting my bio minor to use. <laughs> Outside of the bio minor, I have other little qualifications that help me with this. I was originally going to be a scientific illustrator, so I did a lot of chemistry classes, and I've also done a lot of volunteer work with the scientific community when it comes to publications. So I know a lot about science, I'm an artist by trade, and I also know a lot about art supplies. So today we're going to be talking about the Munich Premier brushes. These are hybrid hair brushes, and we're going to be talking about all about the anatomy of why these brushes work, why we have hybrid brushes. These specifically are a hog hair bristle brush combined with a synthetic blend. What is a bristle? Lots of you, when you're looking at your brushes, you might see that some of them are labeled as hair, other ones are labeled as bristle. What's the difference? Bristles are essentially a subset of hair, kind of, where they are stiffer and a lot stronger and rougher than your typical hair would be. So typically it's because your hair follicles, they're a lot flatter and a lot larger when it's like, if you have hair growing on your face like a beard, those, could, those are considered bristles as compared to the hair that's growing on your head. And bristles also show up in a lot of other places like on hogs, on earthworms, surprisingly, they have really, really small bristles. Uh, I've never seen an earthworm's bristles, but they have them, uh, as well as plants and, like I said, facial hair. Though I've never seen a facial hairbrush, I did ask my partner if he would be willing to sacrifice his beard for the sake of this so I could show you the difference, but he obviously said no. <laughs> so I can't show you what that looks like, but those are bristles. So what is special about bristles? Bristles are categorized into two different sets. Flagged and unflagged. Now, these hog bristles are all considered flagged. That means at the very tip of them, there's just a little... It's kind of like when your own hair splits. So you get split ends. Hog hair naturally wants to do that. It will split at the very tip and it makes the brush a lot softer. And it also gives it a lot more points to be able to grip on to paint. Now that we have our paint and our brush ready, let's get started and I'll show you guys. I got our Lucas Acryl Pastos paint here. This is a very thick paint, so it's great for bristle brushes because they're able to hold a lot of paint and pick up a lot of paint at once, so you're able to get those really nice thick Pastos textures. So I'm going to show you guys here. Can pick up a lot of paint at once, and if I was doing Pastos painting, this would be perfect. So we're going to show you guys really quickly what this kind of bristles look like underneath a microscope. What you're seeing in this microscope is the flagged tip. That is essentially the same as if you were having a split end in your own hair. The hair is just breaking apart into two separate points. And what that does for the brush is that those tips, it's essentially like you're doubling the amount of bristles that you have. So right at the very end of your brush where all of your bristles are splitting is where you're going to have the softest point of your brush. And it's also going to be the point where you're going to have the most points of contact with whatever paint you're scooping up. So that's going to be the part that is able to grip onto the paint the best. That's also why like, you know, earthworms have bristles because those little bristles are able to grip onto the ground while they're essentially squirming through the Ooh. earth. It's one of the wonderful things about bristles. But then the base of the bristle is still really stiff and really strong and is going to help you scoop. The other thing that is spectacular about bristle brushes is the interlocking bristles. Essentially what interlocking is, is that, you know, when you have your own hair, you get calyx in your hair, your hair wants to go certain ways and you have to kind of wrestle it to get it back into place. It wants to lay where it goes. It doesn't want to lay where you necessarily want it to go. The same is true of hog hair. You know, hogs get cowlix, they get hair that sticks in certain directions and brush makers will use that to their advantage. So interlocking hairs, what they'll essentially do is that they'll get two groups of hair that are each curved a specific way. So they might one might be curved in this way, the other might be curved in that way, and they're going to place them together so that their curves are going towards the center of the brush. They're going to interlock. 
what that essentially does is it helps keep the brush's springiness. So natural hair is kind of known for over time. It wears down. It loses its shape a little bit. One of the ways that they help keep the shape of these bristle brushes is through interlocking the bristles. So the bristles are going to be holding onto one another and it's going to make it so, you know, if I start moving this brush around, you can see how quickly it springs back into its original shape. And that's going to be one of the things that helps it keep its shape. The other thing that makes the Munich Premier brushes special compared to other hybrid brushes as well as natural hair brushes is the synthetic blend. Because like I said, even with interlocking bristles, natural hair brushes have a tendency to lose their shape over time. So those synthetic bristles that are in there are able to be a lot stiffer, hold their shape a lot better, and when you kind of interleave them with the natural hairs, it's going to make these brushes hold their shape better for longer as compared to natural hair brushes. If we take this brush and we compare it to a fully natural hair bristle brush, we can wash these two repeatedly and we're going to see how well they hold up their shape after a lot of washing. So you can start to see the difference here. This is only after about 25 washes. Each wash was probably only around 10 seconds, but you can see how drastically the natural hog hair has started to get out of shape and how much better, especially from our side angle here, that our Munich has kept its shape because of those synthetic bristles that are holding everything together. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that helped explain some of the differences between a hybrid hairbrush and a natural hairbrush, as well as a synthetic hairbrush. Please leave in the comments below what you would like to see in a future Science of Art videos. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Let me see here. I can actually just see it with my eyes, which is kind of nice. I should also clean the paint off my hand because I just realized it looks like I'm bleeding. It's a murder. I feel like I see my own eyelashes more than I see the...